after I invented the DIY console for Sonic, I knew there were no clever ideas left. Still, there was one video game character who could not be ignored. It's me, Mario! The superhero of my childhood! But the machines were running too fast for him. There's no way I can integrate Mario into this machine! But then I made one adjustment. Mario can walk, jump and run and now even stop. It's just crazy. I call it Super Mario Bros. Wonder, wonder, wonder. In today's video I unveil how it's made with clay and lego. To make the gameplay even more intuitive than ever before, we place the speed control on the right side. This is Clay Console 2.0. It's hold in the hands while playing. That's why I call it... But just next level. For the level design we want to improve it. This time on the Clay Console 2.0 with another layer in the background so that we get a realistic perspective. The foreground moves, but the background moves slightly slower. We put together our paper loop consisting of cardboard and this transparent paper, which creates the illusion of nothingness. Nothingness. <laughs> Later on, this will be our window to the layer behind to see the background, which is either slower moving or not moving at all. <laughs> And with the gear wheels connected to the main engine, everything's moving the same time, but slower. And this is the back background, which isn't moving at all. For the background paper loop, I stole some images by screenshotting them out of the gameplay, did some brutal Photoshop for them. And look at that. We get a consisting background with all the tubes and hills and we can even close it and it somehow makes sense. To make it cheerful and Mario-ish we bring in some brighter colors. I could have probably also achieved this by putting the saturation up in Photoshop. It's moving! Look at that! But not really well. Maybe we need some more tension on the paper loop. Luckily, Lego has pieces for every problem. I'm now placing the back background behind the background. And it works perfectly fine. Woo! Look at that! This amazing parallax effect. Let's tidy up our desk and switch over to clay. We start with the foreground, background color. Just like I mold and shape this piece of clay into something beautiful, wouldn't it be great if we could shape our online presence? Thanks to our sponsor of today's video, CyberGhost VPN, we can. Imagine the internet as raw clay, vulnerable to exposure. But with CyberGhost VPN, we have the crafting tools to shape and sculpt our online experience to be safer and more personalized. This is achieved through data encryption, which acts like a protective glaze on our clay masterpiece. Thanks to CyberGhost VPN, you can access geo-restricted content from websites, YouTube included, social media networks, find better deals online, play games blocked in your region, protect your identity by keeping your data encrypted, and even get blocked libraries of over 40 streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, and many more. But that's not all. CyberGhost VPN also allows us to shapeshift our virtual location, giving us access to new streaming options and content. And best of all, our browsing is anonymous, ensuring our privacy is protected with over 8,500 servers in 91 countries 
CyberGhost VPN is like a global craft store, opening up new possibilities and inspirations for our online world. And with one subscription, up to seven devices can be protected, making it easy for friends and family to join on the crafting for just $2.00. And three cents a month, you can get started with CyberGhost VPN and shape your digital experience. And if you're not satisfied, there is a 45 day money back guarantee. In each and every Mario game, we have crazy patterns everywhere. I guess there is one lonely, crazy level designer who does these patterns. In this case, we have floral elements in the foreground and I have no idea how to make it. First guess was to work with imprints. This is why I made a positive form of these flowers. And then I noticed they were quite too big. So I did them again. <laughs> and we try to replicate this pattern on the, well, it's not really background, foreground. <clears throat> and hopefully we make the level designer happy to show him that we can replicate what he has designed with clay. Next step, we are adding the grass on top. I want to make it look quite organic. This is why there is a curve inside and then we are adding many, many leaves and I listened to many, many audiobooks while doing so. And in the end, we got like 20 centimeters of grass and we need 76 in total. So I'm listening to more audiobooks while working. <sighs> I revealed the concept before, how we will create the paper loop. I will cut these level elements all into two centimeter chunks and hopefully they will all assemble. Well, I'm pretty sure they will assemble. The question is just how look does it, how good does it look? <laughs> well, the flowers, we give them a little bit more love and then we work on all the crazy Details in the level. There's another crazy level designer on the work, probably the same from Among Us. <laughs> we have Tiny Goomba. Look at that one. I can't believe this is not even close to the tiniest Goomba which I have ever created. I'm going to link the video right here. My all time favorite game ever. Super Mario 64 and I created a tiny diorama. Okay, so we put the elements into the oven and we come back to Sonic. Well, not really. We are coming back to Mario. But it's the same moving mechanism. <sighs> oh boy, I would have loved to give Mario moving arms so that while running we see his arm in the front going from back to the front and so on but thumbs up we created somehow a beautiful mario which also moves by this rotating wheel in the background for feet and legs yeah, let's give him the mustache it looks so weird otherwise the nose is attached the hair the ears and then we continue with the eyes, with the tiny black iris and also this reflex. Um, it's white. Mario into the oven. Keep in mind, not the Lego pieces, because they will shrink or blow up, something like that. This is why I created on top of the aluminum foil. This song is called something elephant. <laughs> yes, it's true. We are not only creating the tiny Mario, we will also create his, um, well, the Elephant Mario. Does he have a name? Elephant Mario. 
great, great name. Marofant. Murray Elephant. Super Elephant. <laughs> yeah, it's so creative. We are, we are, we are bringing in some gray clay and this looks so weird, but in the end, hopefully not. I would really like to make his trunk, his snoot moving. And therefore, we need some more Lego pieces right in the middle. And again, keep in mind, we won't put the Lego pieces into the oven, because otherwise they will shrink or blow up. <clears throat> yeah, the Mario cap on top, because otherwise you don't recognize that it's Mario, but with a big trunk. And then we are doing some adjustments to the Lego pieces. Some aluminum foil on top so that we can remove the Lego piece before putting it into the oven. Have I already mentioned that we don't put Lego pieces into the oven? Classical clay clay music. These are some classical elements for the level design. We have the bricks and tubes and mystery blocks and trees, flowers, all that kind of stuff which makes Mario so vivid and alive. Have you played Wonders? Um, well, I haven't. <laughs> I'm thinking about uh, getting it because it looks so alive. All the levels look so different. I'm not really sure why I choose the first stage to go with, with this clay console. Probably because it has the most um, recognition value. There is something special about this tree. Not only has Crystal created it, slicing it into half, because we want to put it onto the paper loop and that it reassembles. No, but the trees can be climbed. So there's a platform on top. We need like five millimeters so that Mario or the wheel of Mario can uh, step onto it. Same also goes for this uh, mystery block and also the bricks. So they all have five millimeters of depth. The tubes. And there are so many in the game and they move and crawl and jump. Well, there was no way to create it just like that. We are coloring the cardboard also to make it a little bit more vivid and also to make it more match to all the clay pieces. Because to be honest, there are so bright colors within the polymer clay on universe and when you add some cardboard to the background, it just looks so boring. Yeah, some more coloring to make the clay pieces pop out even more. And look at that, it looks so beautiful. The patterns become really alive. It matches perfectly the Lego pieces because we have used the aluminum foil on top. Now, the most iconic symbol in video game history, the red M. <laughs> and we continue with painting. Well, it doesn't really look good. Maybe we should add some acrylic paint to get a bit more coverage on the legs. Yeah, way better. The boots, where well, they, they also have a bright sole underneath. So probably we will also paint that for the elephant version of Super Mario and another letter. Uh, we will also use the acrylic paint for the feet and for the legs. And hopefully it all fits together. The trunk. Look at that. It's so adorable. A tiny detail on the front and hopefully it moves when I shake him. Somehow. It just looks like as if the trunk is still soft and movable, but it isn't. It's often hardened. We add the toenails. 
Oh, I'm getting a black toenail. Did I mention that before? Um, well, I ran into a box here in the studio and hurt myself quite a little. And now it's turning black on the one side. Not really black. I, I am showing you a picture. No, I'm not. The soul of Mario is now also created with a little bit of acrylic paint and we can now assemble him, also adding the arm in the background. And look at that, he's moving! For the elephant we need some hot glue sauce because he's a little bigger. And this is the connection piece to our clay console with the magnet hidden inside. Um, but we'll come back to the magnet issue in a minute. Let's first add some flowers to the background. How can something beautiful sound so much like a gun? I have put so much love and work into this project and it took me, well, nearly two weeks to finish it. And I still have this feeling inside that I'm letting you guys down because I'm not publishing weekly and it says so on my banner on the YouTube channel. But in the end I just love creating beautiful projects and if I would have finished this one within just one week it probably wouldn't have done it justice and I would have left out so many details. But I guess I really need to read some comments from you guys saying take all the time you need to create beautiful projects. That's what we would love to see. <laughs> okay, there's a gap. Let's make it a little bit more dangerous for Mario. And then we have some tubes. Okay, he's going right up. Then jumping over the tubes. We're adding the diamonds the foreground and maybe some shadows on the mystery block and these speaking flowers I love these it's just so random when they're talk when they talk <laughs> Wow well done it's magnetic paper I am um, printing all these tiny elements on top of the flag but also the coins. The idea is, and well, you have seen it in the Sonic video, that you can remove them by just rolling over them. This mechanism will allow us to not only collect the coins, but also to, to hit the flag. We make sure the tiny magnet will stay in position on the back side. I'm so curious to play this. I can't wait. Whoa. Okay, time has come. Let's put the paper loop into our clay console. And ah, guys, I can't tell you how excited I am. I've spent two weeks on this. Hopefully it works. I hope so. I really hope so. <gasps> Jumping is working. Now let's collect some coins and experience the first stage. Have you seen that? I collected the flag. So we are safe now. Whatever happens. This, well, this can also happen in the real gameplay. If you haven't followed the crafting part of this video till now, there will be a tiny surprise. We will collect an item. I'm looking out for the item. Oh, there it is. I can see it. We have collected the elephant fruit and I'm so curious. Look at the trunk, how it's moving so curious how it will work in the clay console if we can also so solve the whole level well this can happen 
Now let's continue with Elephant Mario. There is an angry Goomba. Well. So maybe he's just a little bit too big for this whole scenery. I created a gaming character who's too fat for the game to play. <gasps> he collected the flag. So we're safe now. It's so difficult. Ah! Oh, he's destroying the level like in the real game. What would you like to see next, guys? Leave it down in the comments. I'm so curious to read your ideas while struggling with Elephant Mario. Ah. Great, now it's broken. Big thanks to CyberGhost VPN for sponsoring and helping craft this video. This application will protect your data while you browse and give you full access to all blocked content on the internet for $2.03 a month only. CyberGhost VPN has 38 million users, 5 stars on Trustpilot. Shape your digital experience too. Totally risk-free. Check out the link in the description.